In any language, it is essential that we know how to read data before we move on to data manipulation and transformation. In today's video, we will see how we can read our data in different forms and what is the most efficient way to read our data. Welcome back to our channel, Between Two News. I am Ismi. And before we begin our video, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you do not miss out on our new weekly content. Reading data. Database selectors allow navigating any combination of object and array to get to the data you need. Selectors are used to extract specific data from a given input structure. Selectors are a fundamental part of data weave transformation allowing you to navigate and access elements within complex data structures. You can also think of data weave selectors as a way to query your data. What are the different kinds of data weave selectors? We have five in all, single value selector, index selector, range selector, multi-value selector, descendant selector. Let us deep dive into each one of them. Single value selector. Single value selector allows us to look up an object value by their key. This usually functions in objects. Index selector. Index selector can be used to get values from an array based on its position from the beginning of the array. We can also do a lot more with the selector and we will deep dive into it with the demo. Range selector. If you need multiple sequential values from an array, DataWeave allows you to select a range of values with the range selector. Instead of returning a single value as an index selector, it will return an array of values. Multi-value selectors. This can come in handy while we're selecting values from an array or an object. This selector returns an array containing any value that matches the key the values returned are dependent on keys that are passed in. Multi-value selectors work on both array and objects, but in different ways. We shall see that in the demo. Descendant selectors. Descendant selectors is the perfect tool to use when you need the values of certain key, no matter where they appear in a piece of data. Let us now go to the data view playground and start playing with the selectors. Let us go back to our single value selector. If you remember, single value selector is used to access properties of an object by specifying the property name after a dot. So in, the, in this example here, we have an example object which has certain values and inside of this object, you'll say it has one more object. And now my requirement is to access the value of host from this payload. It is rather simple to get the value of host. I can write payload dot. If you see, data view playground automatically gives me all the options which I can select. And in my case, I want to select the value of host. Now, if you see, it is returning the value of host Linux, and it has made my job easy to select any target value from an object. Now, how about I want to get the value of environment? I can do the same in an exact manner by typing in payload.environment and it will give me an object, which is the value of environment. Now, how about I want to get the value of stage? It is an object inside of an object. To do so, we just go one step further and try to retrieve the value of state using the same single value selector. If I write payload.environment, it gives me an object. But if you see, this is an object. The output of environment is an object. And as per the definition of single value selector, I can use single value selector on any object. That means ideally, I should be able to grab the value of this as it is an object. So how about I try to do this? Oh, look, it is already giving me a suggestion to get the value of stage. And if you see on the right side, it's kind of giving me the, prompting me the value of the key stage. So how about I go further and select it? Now we have the value of stage. So that means 
single value selector can be used in a hierarchical manner and to find an, a value within an object of an object. Let us now move on to our second sort of selector, that is an index selector. Now, index selector, unlike the single value selector, usually works on arrays. So, let's see an example. I have an, I have an array here, which has a string and an array. And here, my requirement is to find a value can be the first index the second index but let us go back and see what was the definition of index selector index selector are used to access elements in an array or list based on their position using square brackets with the index inside the index starts at zero for the first element and one for the second element and so on so here are the key points to note from index selector. Index selector works on list and or arrays. We use index selector by enclosing an index within a square bracket and the index always begins with zero. Now, my requirement is to get the first index or the zeroth index from my array. I can do it simply by saying square brackets and then mentioning the index, it gives me the in the first index. How about I try to get the second index or the first index from the index value selector? By doing by, by writing one instead of zero, I get the value of the second index, which is an array. Now, how about some more fun? I want to get if you see the first index is an array and similarly like single value selector if we can get a value of a key from within an object of an object I should be able to get the value of an index from within an array of an array now I cannot use dot because that's that works with objects so how about I try to use multiple index selector? Now, let's say I want to get the value of the first index within the se second index of the array, and I want to get the value of QA. How can I do that? If you remember, this is an array. And if this is an array, QA sits on the zeroth index of this array. So how about I try to write to find the zeroth value of the array and voila, we have the value of QA. Similarly, we can find the value of dev by giving it the first index. And so now you can top one index selector on the top of the other to find the value of an, of an index from an array within an array. Moving on to range selector. Let us go back and remember what was range selector. Range selector is used to extract specific range of elements from an array or list. So that means range selector also work on an array. Now, how about... I have an example. Here I have a very simple array with three elements, prod, QA, and dev. Now, range selector allows us to specify the start and the end index to retrieve a subset of the element within a given range. So that means I can retrieve a subset of my array using the range selector. And we need to remember to use a keyword Two. If I write payload 2, it makes no sense. And if I try to get the zeroth index, it gives me prod. But how about I want to get two environments from my array. I want to get prod and QA. I should be able to do so by mentioning the range 
So I want the zero from the zeroth index to the first index. So it should be zero to one using the keyword two. So now that gives me a range. So now, you know, we can find a subset from within an array to further manipulate and transform our data. Moving on to multi-value selector. Multi-value selector returns an array containing any value that matches the key. The multi-value selector works on both array and object, but in different ways. The selector does not go to the hierarchies of object, so it will pick up the top level values for us. So to summarize, single value selectors work on objects. Index value and range value selector work on arrays. But how about a selector which works on both? That is multi-value selector. So here I have an example of an array and we are going to use multi-value selector on this and see how it works. So, multi so to use multi-value selector, we usually use the asterisk or the star. Now let's try to use single value selector and index value selector first on our sample payload and see what values we get. So if I write payload dot price, I get the price of one, three, and five. That means it is giving me the first value of price within each object inside the array. Now how about I try to use payload zero. It gives me the first object within the array. But my requirement is to get the value of all the prices within this array. How can I do that? So if I write payload dot asterisk and then the keyword price, it gives me an array with all the values of prices irrespective of where it exists, right? And this works on an object as well. So now let's say I have a sample object here and I'm gonna, and in this, I ha we have multiple values of name and I wanna get the values of all the names. Can I do it? Of course, I got a value of all the names within our payload and this works on both array and object. Now, one thing to note, this only works in an object with the top level hierarchies. So we have another example. In here, we see echo is one keyword which occurs at various levels. So in this object, we have echo as a top tier key and then Within that, we have an array for sequence, array of object, which has echo again, which again has an object, which has the keyword echo. Now, if I try to use the exact same multi-value selector for echo, you will see that I only got the top tier value in return, which was value hello there. So that means Multi-value selector works differently for both array and object. When it comes to object, it only gives us the value of that keyword back from the top tier. And if I want to get the, all the values from the second tier, I have to say payload.sequence.echo, and it's gonna give me details. But here, again, we only have one value in that second tier. So to go to the third one, or to get more values of all the values of the third one, we'll have to go within sequence, then try to get the value. So if you see here, I've done two things. I'm not only using the multi-value selector, but I'm also combining the multi-value selector with single value selector. So that means all these selectors are usually combinable. So now we have one more selector left. That is the descendants selector. Descendants selector is the perfect tool to use when you need the values for a certain key no matter where they appear in a piece of data. So that means we do not need to worry about the hierarchies of the target value. In return, it gives us an array in response. So 
as we saw in our last example i was not able to get all the values of the keyword echo from my object because they all sat on different levels so for to resolve that we have a new sort of selector that is called descendants selector it is sort of a single value selector where we use dot but not a single dot we use two dots so now when i try to do descendants selector you will see i'm getting th uh, an array of three values and if you see it's giving me all the values of array irrespective of the level where they sit with their original format of data. So now it is up to us to use the sentence selector or multi-value selector based on our requirements and needs. So I hope you all liked this video and it helped you get over the basics of DataV. Thank you and see you next week.